Bartlett. Hello and welcome to this episode of No Blasters with me, Karen Bartlett. Today's guests are Davis Deva, Aaron Butler, Whoa. Carrick Fergus Casanova, mm. Ian Thompson. <laughs> I'm not from Carrick. <laughs> Do you not live there? No, I live, I'm from Crumlin. And I live in East Belfast. Cr- Crumlin, Casanova. I, I don't know, you did this the last time was on as well, yeah. Fake news. You're, I, you're spreading it's because fake news. I'm head of the East Andrew UDA. I know. I know. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Crumlin, Crumlin Casanova. I, I don't know why I fucked up. Well, I sorry. Tired. Fucked it. It's okay. Anyway, sorry. That's twice. Right. <laughs> Today's episode sponsored by Manscaped.com. If you, you got pubes, want to say goodbye to them for a wee bit, they will come back. Right. Go over to Manscaped.com. Use the code NoBlasters20. That's the word. All one word, all lowercase, no blasters, and the number 20. So N O B L A S T E R S 2 O for 20% off and free delivery. They have an ultra performance package over there, which is everything comes in this wee fucking wee bag. A, a bag for your bag, you might say. Swag for your bag, whatever. Uh, I'm working on all these different uh, slogans for them. It contains many things, including the new Weed Whacker 2.0 which has improved blades and motors for getting in, fucking strimming out them nose pubes, getting into your ear hair. It's a fucking, it is a pubic ninja, all right? It's like a samurai sword for your sack, right? Get in there, get around it, get in it. And then afterwards, rub it down with a bit of ball deodorant, right? Not your nose, your ears, clearly for your balls. Use the crop mop. Sometimes, do you ever get a wee smelly Jimmy? Maybe you've eaten fish, no? Did you get that? My Smartest. dick doesn't smell if I eat fish. No, mine does. I ser- sincerely. You don't look that. No, no, I don't. I don't. No, lo- no loads of. I looked Can't it up. Tell you no loads of people have Can't this. I'm telling you, I know your daughter. It's if you eat oily fish. If you eat mackerel, sometimes you go for a wee piece. You smell a bit of mackerel off it. It's fine. I don't know. It's like asparagus. Asparagus sometimes make your piss smell like burning rubber. Do you know what's great for cleaning that up? A toilet, but also <laughs> not eating asparagus. Not eating asparagus, <laughs> but yeah. if you must say you've gone. I have to eat asparagus and mackerel today. Get yourself a crop mop, dick wipe. Get in around it. Get in around it. It's sweet. It'll make make sure make sure dick smell like your grandma's aftershave. It's a great time. And I, I know that sounds weird. Mm. You'll thank me for it. I didn't have a grandma. Ne- neither did I. I mean, you did have them, but but they died before. But you yeah, 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 yeah. I, I had that, but I mean, other people have grandmas. Fuck up, right? So sorry. <laughs> so get over to manscaped.com. <laughs> use the code No Blasters Twenty. It's a good time. Swag for your bag, right? Also sponsoring us today is uh, Top Notch Bistro Restaurant Cafe, Joxer. Never heard of it. Joxer. Joxer have two. Listen up. Listen up. Tell listen me about good. it. Joxer have two locations. One's in Hollywood. One's in Bangor. One in Bangor's a good time for like, they're both great if you're going out for like, say like a wee brunch and whatever, right? But maybe the one in Bangor is a good wee one for a date before you come see Karen Bartlett's Secret Comedy Club in the courthouse, right? <laughs> Maybe the one in Hollywood's good if you want to go in on like a Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, get a wee bit lumpy in there, you know what I mean, a wee bit steamy. A good time, it's a great vibe. The The one in Hollywood's like a slightly darker, sort of like grittier vibe. The one in Bangor, it's not that gritty though because it's in Hollywood. And then the one in Bangor, it's, it's gritty but safe. And then the one in, it's like a Denzel Washington thriller, right? And then, and then, and then, you know no one's getting beheaded in it, right? And then... Uh, the one in Bangor is like straight up Bruno Mars could dander in there. It's it's that cool, right? Okay. Uh, and they also have scampi. But anyway, get in there. Uh, get in there. The, if you're going to book one of the late nights in there, use resdiary.com. Type in Joxer. You'll find it. Joxer loves us. We love them. It's the home of Chaffles. It's a fucking great time. Thank you, Joxer. Let's get in. <sighs> she were both in the pavilion last night. Monday night we were comedy putting in the work Karen putting in the hard yards that's what it is you know, putting in the hard words a few pints. he was just right. having a wee watch just we, a wee just a wee Guinness night yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but look I don't like Guinness he said no no does nothing for me we were talking earlier about vapes if say right say Doogie's goodies gets in the factory gets in the, the sh- into the vape game get into the, no, they, they get into the, the, the chemical lab whatever it is they, they get the chocolate French fancy and the, they made a vape off it. Vapify it. Wouldn't want it. Come on. I, I value my lungs, are. Come on. Vapes. Here, do you know what? Vapes are killing you. Don't listen. Hmm. Don't. Does it say on vapes that they kill you? I don't it think. It just says it, it does. contains nicotine, which is highly addictive. 
Highly addictive and not good for your heart, by the way. Constricts your fucking capillaries. And your teeth. Mm-hmm. I tell you, yeah, I tell you what I don't need. More things constricting my fucking blood vessels. No. Um, we do I don't like it. it. I don't like it. It smells. The vape thing. They always smell bad. Yeah. Mm. They're, they never smell nice. Do you think? They smell like fucking old sick people farts. Because it's like, there's, there's, a, there's a dirty sweetness off them. There is a dirty sweetness. You know I know what, what you're talking it's like, it's about. Like, it smells like a fucking sick child. And some of them are fucking ridiculous. Like, there's one of my colleagues smokes one, and when he's out in his van, you could be sitting five vehicles back in mm. traffic and you smell it. Yeah, it's fucking disgusting. I also, I hate seeing them everywhere. Mm. Yeah. It's, like, it's, like, it's like... Everyone, it's a it's a thing. You yeah. love them though, don't you? Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know you're on it, I? why? All the flavours and all. I, was, I saw some people people being like, oh, this is a watermelon one. I'm like, what the fuck are you on? Well, have a, so have a fag. They're more like eating a bag of sweets than having a fag. I think I would rather... I would rather just eat a bag of sweets. I'd rather vape than smoke a cigarette though. I wouldn't. Really? Yeah. I had a real cigarette a couple of weeks ago and very much Stinking. regretted it. I'd rather just get a fucking bag of relic salted hula hoops. That's what I'd rather do. Smoke those. Yeah. Put them Mate, in. tell you what, they light, they, light, they light up real good. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, do you know what's yeah. a good one to smoke? Uh, a Tato curry chip. Oh! <gasps> Those are remember They're those? Lethal. Do you they can, still do those? I saw a bag. I mean, I was I swore I was this close to buying a bag them last night for pure nostalgia. Where did you see them? In Cretans. They uh, there was salt and vinegar ones as well, wasn't there? Yeah, the, the, chip I remember chipsticks. There, there, there was there's chipsticks, but there was there was also ones that were just called chips, mm. potato ones, and then they became then curry chips was a a, a, a sequel. You yeah, know? It was a, it was a corn based. Yeah, yeah. Mm. What about those, uh, 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 those, those ones, those, those chip sticks? But then there's also, do you remember mini chips? The yes. KP ones, beef and beef salt mini, and vinegar. Beef mini chips are a yes. fucking. Oh, you would, Ian. Surely. Mate, see the smell of a beef mini chip. Mm-hmm. That'll that'll give me a root look. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it'll it'll give you a wee beef. A, mini a, chip. A, a, a wee fucking a wee beef fruit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. By the way, I haven't. Again, Lent was a while there. Still mm. haven't had a crisp since Lent. But today, today we're getting into it. Today is a, a special. Is it day. time? Is it time already? We're well, we've st- been talking about crisp, so I'm let's, just saying. I'm open, just telling you. This will be my right? first corn-based crisp oh. in six odd weeks or whatever. Today, per- there's, there's a few twank ti- present to me. There's a I, few titans in this group. I can see a bit of crisp embedded into this microphone. I'm sure. I oh, know, mate. <laughs> Today, yeah, or smeg. It's one of the two. Yeah. Tato, Tato cheese, and onion. <laughs> you like it first. Versus um, Walkers. Oh, Karen, this is a salt big salt and vinegar. This is this is a group of death. This is a hard group. Quite literally, the will, the will shorten your lifespan. <laughs> Cheetos, twisted flame and hot. These no, are these. Had I, I haven't had things. these ever. These are a time. Okay, uh, okay. All right. Okay. Versus Walker's cheese and onion. Now, wow. can I throw this out there? Please. In the, in the, we can call this maybe a crisp sandwich derby, right? Mm. I will only have a crisp sandwich of the crisp cheese and onion, right? Okay. These are the two go tos for me. If I can't get these, yeah. I go for these. But yeah. see this. Between two rounds of plain bread with butter. Oh, not even that much butter, just a wee bit. We skim. That is, that's a meal. Like. <laughs> Did you say wet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> nice that, that's wet. serious. Especially if the if it's nutty crust that's fresh. Mm. It still has the the sponge and the crust. This is a hard group. If there were if there was a World Cup group of football teams, what would what would it be? Would it, this be, would like be this is your you know France Ar- France Brazil, Brazil. Argentina. Argentina, maybe, yeah, or maybe who plays in green? Ireland. Nigeria. This could be the <laughs> Republic. The Rep- yeah. Nigeria. <laughs> and that is Denmark? Spain. 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 That's, that's, Spain. A, that's a group. That's right. some group. This is a group. Karen, we're going to get into this, right? Get Obviously, just, just to refresh, right? The way we do this is we're going to taste one, and then you beat. We're going to taste them all, and then you start going this versus this, this versus that. What wins? And then we'll come out with two at the end to go through. Wow. Some people have asked, can we do a Europa League for the third place ones? No. That's a lot. Uh, that, that is a lot. That's too much. <clears throat> Plus, see, to be honest with you, I don't like, as much as I enjoy a crisp, I would never go in and buy four bags. Mm. So going in and doing it, you kind of look like a dick. Just buy a big people are dick. No, I, yeah, just buy mm. 
I would just buy one multi pack and go into my car. <laughs> <laughs> Stick Sting on. You need. <laughs> what Sting song would it be? Roxanne. Don't stand so close to me. Don't, don't want anyone so near me. Yeah. You know when I'm. Uh, Every crisp you take. Uh, did the, you hear? Did you hear that wee story about P Diddy? No. It's it's sort of it came up a few years ago where people were suggesting that P Diddy had to pay Sting. Do you know he made that that missing you song without permission to use that fucking riff? Isn't that mental? And what did Sting do about that? No. What did Sting do? Did he sue him? Jake Sting did nothing. No. Fucked him. Sting looks like he was doing nothing, but he was he was fucking. <laughs> he was right? fucking him. He looks like he's doing legally. nothing because he's just sitting there going. Yeah. But he's all the way. He's but ma- he's he's, he's micro. But Sting's always fucking. He's the ta- he's the tantric sex guy. Yeah, remember? That's what he does. That is. But Trudy. Remember oh, he was all into that. Trudy, like yeah. Who was Trudy? His wife. His wife. Trudy Steller. That sounds like a drag queen. Just fucking. Well, Give it up for Trudy Styler. Do you ever go to a Kremlin and that's the way they introduce the yeah, drag queens yeah. every single time? Give it up for... And then yep. <laughs> insert drag queen name. Give it up for pickle problems. Give right? it up for cheese and onion. Cheese and onion, Tato. Uh, we all know this. Actually, should we make us the last one that you taste? Okay. Because I don't want it... That could affect your palate. That's how strong. I, I look. We're all we're all drinking water here. Didn't let's do ensure. let's do a, a Cheeto. This will be the first time I've had this one of them here. This is a Cheeto twisted. These are a time. Now, Karen, this is an obnoxiously big. It is. It crisp. is. Mm. It is. That's, what, that's what they all say. Okay. I feel this is weird. It's like breaking my virginity or something. If you go sideways, very tasty. But if you go sideways, you'll fit it all in. <laughs> oh, like oh see what yes. It's not. When it gets glued to your teeth. Yeah, yeah, that That's is the annoying that, thing. That is the annoying thing. You, mm. you, but you get like a second bag just by picking them out. Um, um, oh, my, gonna, my wee arse is winking at me just tasting that. They're very good. Do you not like them? No, I love it. Mm. Mm. No, it's doing like wee nice convulsions. All right. Yeah. I'm cute. I'm, it's pulsing. <laughs> my arse is pulsing right now. This is a, a walk. Sorry, she's not. May I palate cleanse first, mm. Karen? Thank oh, you. Thank I just feel like I, you're being. I'm already. Uh, sorry, right. I'm jamming these down here. Yeah. You're just, yeah, yeah. And for the listeners, this is There's the. There's no need to eat these are the cheese and onion walkers. What are your thoughts on walkers mixing up the colors? Like, mm, good. I know. Point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue is is your traditional salt, salt and vinegar. vinegar. Yeah. yeah, it's a bit of a bold move. I think walkers right. do have to fuck you about because you'll you'll maybe buy two bags then because you might you might want salt and vinegar. You buy cheese and onion and go fuck, and then go and buy salt and vinegar. Mm. No, not doing it for me. I think this was such a flavor explosion in my wee right. palate that this now seems bland. Again, no need to eat two of these, but that's what I want to do. But you have to get the flavor in your mouth. You have to. Is there any heart shaped crisps in here? Switch, switch whole, up now to uh, hundred grand. You want a heart shaped Walker one? salt and vinegar. These are great funeral crisps, by the way. Right? Why would that be? High quality generic mm. flavors. Salt oh, and yeah. vinegar are good. Oh yeah, they're good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now, we're about to drop a nuke on everything here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna refresh. Cleanse the palate. I'm gonna need to get like limoncello or something here when we get into the knockout round. <laughs> Sorbet? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> oh, I'm choking all Have you done um, <laughs> McCoy's? Yeah, something like that. No, no, I don't. I, McC- McCoy's are a weird one. Why? If I was putting a McCoy in the Champions League, it'd be the chilly ones. I, I can't, you can't fucking seem to get them anywhere at the minute. I'm starting here. <coughs> yeah, that could potentially be a phone call in the next couple of weeks because I am actually worried. You're worried what? about the the lack of chilly the McCoy Mexican chilly board. McCoy. And you're worried. It's been a staple in my life since the nineties, and I'm concerned. Mm. War in Ukraine. You're like, yeah. mm, Wow. Hero cheese and onion. I haven't had these in ages. Smacks like Mike Tyson. Mm. Bite the ear. Pretty tasty. Don't know. That that packs. That that serious. That is packing a punch like. This is a hard like. Yeah. Uh, initial <laughs> thoughts. These three are really standing out. Yeah. This guy che- here. Cheese and onion walkers are probably in last position for me. Look. Like, because mm. I think each of those beat it. Mm. Although I I do go for them occasionally. I'll get a wee root on there. They're, I'll say yes, they are great in a sandwich. But I think you said it best when you said you'll only get those if, if, can't get if you them. can't get those. Yeah. I think that already spells out for you the fate of the Walker cheese and onion. Going, going back to 
Walker's cheese and onion from a Taylor cheese and onion. No. It feels like you're getting a less flavored one. No. I won't you know? do it, Karen. No. I won't do it. Last place? I think so. I last agree. place, yeah. I concur. Now, last place is Walker's cheese and onion. This is hard for me. These three. Because I hadn't tasted this boy till today, the Cheetos. I hadn't tasted the Cheetos till today. I haven't tasted cheese and onion in a while. I'm gonna I'm gonna separate these by a goal and say Tato nicks it with a last minute cheeky header because these do get stuck to your teeth in an annoying way. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only downside to them though. I need to I need to yeah. try another Texture one of these Cheetos. I'm I'm just getting Very good. I'm gonna bury myself in these Tato's all oh, mate. Yeah. These this is this is a real tough choice here that I have to make today. I my life is hard. Do you ever I, I have been seen walking around curtains doing this. What a wee crab. A wee, a wee Pins, claw. We pincer. I'm looking. I'm gonna look what I'm gonna pick up and then <laughs> I'll do it in the house as well. Sometimes I do lose her on my cell phone doing do it in shops. Just walking going. And is that you're curious like what what shall I what, be? What delectables are in this <laughs> in this premises? You should have a wee moustache. Oh no, yeah, yeah. Just... <laughs> um, I'm gonna say group winner: potato, cheese, and onion. I think because we're you know that is our country's crisp, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we would be silly. If there's we a didn't. there's a reason why they're so successful. There's a reason why you land at international airport and you see his big fucking stupid face everywhere. Nice. They were the uh, the first flavored crisps in history, I believe. Please. Was no ready salted, I surely. I think it was ready salted. I know, but oh, flavored, you mean flavored? Like... Sorry, okay, wow. I get you. But surely, if they went, because originally it would have been salt and shake, right? Mm. So then, surely the transition from salt and shake is ready salted. It's not cheese and onion. Well, that's not a flavor, though. Is it? It's just salt. It's just plain, really. That doesn't have flavor on it. It's just salt. That has flavour. I think it's a bit. It's an argument we can have, gentlemen. I'm gonna have one more of these anyway, just for crack. Do I did, but just don't bother. Just pick it out of your teeth for the next half. Oh yeah, yeah, that yeah. Is, yeah. That is an issue, like. That's a good point. Mm. There's something tasty about them, like they're very Moorish. I need. Let me have another salt and vinegar here. I, I know what I think. I think actually the salt and vinegar are my favourite. You know? Tato cheese and onion group winner for me. Last place wooden yeah. spoon Walker cheese and onion. Second place, Cheetos Twisted. Are you going to see? Yep. I think me and Ian are favouring on this going. That's okay. If that's, if that's the case, then they go through and these don't. Ian, what do you think? See, here's here's my If you're going to eat the whole bag, what are you going for? Here's I'm my... going for these. Jeez, it's such a hard choice. So also, home and away, right? Mm. Eating these in the house. Good times. Well, that's what that's the point I'm trying to make. If you were eating these and then going out, are you going to be burping them on people? Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. But yeah, then these you, can are smell, you can smell like you've been to the chippy though if you're having salt and vinegar, but they're not that strong a smell. But they're a cleaner crisp on chippy your hands as well. Yeah, yeah, they are. They are cleaner on the on Cheeto. The, you got Cheeto fingers. They're cleaner on the pinch. Mm -mm. They are cleaner on the pinch. You're sort of winning me. You're winning me around here. I think. I think. I think it's a gold difference thing though. It's hot. Yeah, it's gold difference. It's definitely very tight. And this is the first time I've had these today, and I'm very impressed by the Cheetos. Mm. Um, not that hot though. It says flaming hot. These are. No. I've had hot no. things coming out of my ass. Yeah, yeah. I think. <laughs> I've had hotter things coming out of his ass too. Oh, yeah. the, uh, the, but I think, like when you compare these to the the chicken Max Strong crisp, I think those chicken are Max Strong. No Max Strong, Max oh, Strong. Right. Sorry. Um, I thought this was some McDonald's venture. You think these Cheetos are better than no. Walker's Max Strong? No, no, no. Max Strong is hotter. <laughs> is hotter on the palate, even though they're not flaming hot. Yeah, they are. But you they're but I mean? they're but they're the hottest. Uh, thing about oh no no they're not they're the second hottest out of the out of the walkers range right what's the hottest out of the walkers the range? jalapeno cheese ones oh never had because they're jalapeno cheese have you been like... to the asia supermarket <laughs> is that the in... raven hill embankment i have been there i do you know what you can get in there and i'm saying this being serious big big bags of spice for not a lot of not a lot of money you can get what's big bags, bags of spice of like, like if, you want, if you yeah. no, that's some that's some saying if you want if you want like Chilies. If you want like cumin or you want mm. like uh, garam masala or something, you don't want to make your own. Five liters of white vinegar. <coughs> yeah, just like you. Okay, I do want them. You, but see, you know, like if you go into a shop and you get like a wee jar of like cumin, and it's like one ninety nine or something. 
you can go over there and get like a big fuck off bag of it for like a pound. Mm. They're and it's practically better. paying you. The they are. <laughs> like this is only yeah. if you're going to be, I would suggest you only need it if you're going to be making, mm. say, curries in your own house or if you're going to be making like, uh, oh, man, do you know, like sure Mexican though. stuff in your own house like all yeah. the time because you wouldn't need that amount. Mm. So It'll last like, you for a long time. Some of the, like the flavoured noodles and all, like the instant noodles and stuff. Yeah. Just like potluck. Yeah. Because you can't some actually are, read. Yeah. What okay. it says. Some of them are absolutely banging, but occasionally you will get one that tastes like a food. Like my son got one that, honestly, if you dropped it on the floor, it would have melted the tiles. Mm -hmm. It was so fucking spicy. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. And fair play to him. Like he he was just determined to get through it, but I think he was like hallucinating and all at the end. What is your son? I made him. Oh, I good. made him. Whenever we were, whenever I was in a band years ago, we were in a studio recording, and we were in. It was like a, the studio was upstairs and we were in the downstairs of like this. It was like a house and there was like a wee living room and a wee kitchen in it. And um, like a house. And um, uh, one of the boys made himself super noodles and dropped them out of the bowl over one of the, over the drummer's shoulder and literally scorched them for life like a proper really? awful burn. Yeah. I didn't know that Real was possible. Bad. I didn't know super noodles could scar. He made them like, he made them like, you know, like wet. Which is mm -hmm. probably the way you're meant to have super noodles, but I always used to let the water burn off them and they sort of go like goopy. Yes, I drain the water off super noodles. Yeah, so yeah. like uh, he 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 made them kind of wet, like like, a like 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 a broth and fucking, and I mean the guy has like a, a scarred shoulder for the rest of his life. Like it's a great story though. What yes, happened yeah. you? Uh, Imagine yeah. like yeah yeah yeah. What happened <laughs> to you? I was making I was Someone making spilled super noodles. I was making it. a pop punk EP and I got noodles. Yeah. You know they say women love scars. He's like bringing a girl around. He's like, oh, where'd you get that from? I know. He's what, like, what war were you yeah, in? Yeah yeah yeah. What fight did you get in? Has a perfectly circular scar around his nipple from um, flaming zambukas. Oh my like, god! Rather you know, than putting his hand over the top, what he used to do. Just, <laughs> Stick, oh, stick through on those chest. Shut up. But, uh... And what, did one go wrong one day? Yeah, one of them. I didn't know. do it fast enough, like, yeah. It just oh. stuck to his nipple in flames? Pretty much, yeah. Jesus. Oh, I cooked his nipple. Uh, um, uh, these, these Cheetos are in my teeth, and I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna put... <laughs> we're putting Walker salt yeah. vinegar through. I which, think... Good man, Gary Lineker. Tato cheese and onion and Walker salt and vinegar out of this group. Two good Third choices. place, Cheetos. Here's, here's what I'm going to do, though, because mm -hmm. I've been thinking about this now. Yeah. I want to phone Chili McCoy's. Well, I don't think it's, there's a number for Chili McCoy's. I just think it's McCoy's just... Chili McCoy's Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, it'd be impressive if they had a hotline, yeah, pun intended, because they are chili. Can you put me through to the chili department? <laughs> can you put me through a, I'd love you phone reception of mine. Put me through a Chili McCoy's and just see. I, I, do you know what? You want to do it? Yep. It's KP Snacks. <laughs> I've I've dealt with KP before. Yeah, no, I'm I sure they have your number saved in a database somewhere. A database that says don't talk to us. A wee photo and all comes up of you. Contact us. <laughs> there was. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you've got it already. Yeah. Good, good, good. KP snacks. So they do the nuts as well, right? Yeah. The the finest salted. The nuts. finest yep. salt and vinegar nuts you'll find. <coughs> so oh, eight hundred. Yeah. On the dry yep. roasted. Yeah. Right. Let's get into this. Have you ever been dry roasted? Uh, just depends. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it really it depends many people are in the room. Sorry, extension five. They've got seven, you blocked. Four zero is not available. Record your message at the tone. No. When you are finished, <laughs> hang up or press pound I, for more I'm, options. I'm telling you, all I'm, these. I'm not leaving a message for them. All these like crisp places have got together. Yep. After your phone calls the, and they've said blacklist the number. The the Illuminati of crisps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The Illumin Crispy. Um, <laughs> hang on, I, I, I'm going back online here because I want this. We want this for See, you. See, once I start, I'm, I'm on it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're really on the case. But do you know what's annoying? Something has cut me. It's probably a Cheeto. No, I, I, I don't um, think the Cheeto has the sharpness. I think it's one of them bastards. To be uh, fair. It's just making me... <laughs> do you try to retract them? Yeah. The um, Yeah, if any crisp is going to harm you... It'll be the salt and vinegar of water because it opens a much. wound and stings it. Mm. Like a wasp. Uh, like a wasp. Yeah. Let's let's try it because I don't think I have one here. I have that same one that you found. So yeah, let's try the different one. Uh, 015 yep. 30 yep. 412 yep. 771. Right. Colville. 
Mm. Oh, I've been there. That's in Leicestershire. Leicestershire Please choose from one of the following options. Top notch. Choose one for the absence line, two for site finance, three for supply chain, four for Eric's, five for health, safety, and environment. And for any other inquiries, please choose option six for reception. Be great if you went finance. I know. <laughs> for, the, for the chili. Can I speak with someone? I transfer your call. In the supply yeah. chain, please. What the, what's going on with chili for? Voice? What? What department did you? Any other business? This is, this is intense. Yeah. This is like all those people in Glastonbury. Ask them. Intense. Ask them if the Emporium what is still open. <laughs> Are you the real McCoy's? Oh, no. Sorry. Extension 551. Five, oh, six. same wee robot. It's not available. It is the same wee robot. <clears throat> Do you know what I'm doing? Oh, Dell. I nearly left a message going, do you know what I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> we're, get, we're getting in. <laughs> we're, getting into the yeah. <laughs> we're getting into the supply chain. Oh, you're... Please choose from one of the following options. Somebody will fucking answer. Choose one for the absence line. Two for site finance. It would be great Three to go to the supply absence chain. line. Four for Three. Chain five for health, absence. safety we'll and do that. Three supply and chain, yeah. Wait while I transfer so, your What one did you go to? What the absence line? Sorry. Extension 5. KP, do better. Oh, they're really fucking you in that extension. They're, fu- they're, they're fucking me here. Well, uh, maybe it's Easter or Tuesday. They're all... Egged out. Are we, are we fucking... Are we, are we, pub- are we public holiday? Please choose from one of it the might holiday. be. We're going into the supply chain now. Wait while uh, I transfer your call. Now, if the supply chain doesn't work out, I think you have to call today. Yep. Sorry. Fuck. Is not available. Lock dog. <laughs> Sound like a robot. I'm gonna try one more. I'm gonna go for number six again. All right, you're really oh. Eight, eight, work away. Eight, Absolutely. Eight, work no, away. I just wanted to see. You gonna count calories? Who's behind Cheetos? I think it's Walkers. Is it? They are an American sort of crisp, famously. So this is Where does it say to contact if you want to get in touch with them? Oh, 800 Cheetos not the enemy today. Cheetos consumer car. See, they're Leicester as well. Mm. Phone them the and same. ask them if there's a way to get it out of your teeth quickly. Sorry. Right. We're get, I don't know, like that. We'll, we'll just say to them, listen, I love these crisps, but is there any fucking chance? Man, I think you're getting it over your head here with the crisp Illuminati. Yeah. 800 274777. That's easy. Oh, Tell them you have some feedback for them. Tell them you'd like to raise a concern. Oh, those are nice, Bob. Aren't they? Mm. Prime Moorish. They are. But you can't Welcome be... to Walker's Consumer Relations. Ah, yes. Your call will be recorded for training and security purposes. For information on our privacy policy, please visit us at www.pepsicoprivacypolicy.com. If you do not wish your call recording to be retained, press 9 now. Otherwise, oh, please I want, remain I want to online. Take space on their hard drives. <laughs> ask why they don't have a wee cheetah with the sunglasses on the back. Oh, yeah. To help me direct you to the right person That's his name. in a few words, please tell me what you are calling. Oh. Oh, uh, customer car. Cheeto mascot. Sorry. Customer care. Okay. A representative. Now I'll need a little Chester. more information to connect you to the right. Click like worst Chester. So let's try this. For where to buy, press one. For product quality, two. For consumer promotion, three. For something <clears throat> else, four. Four? Four? This is something else. Say so like you. he'd like I'll to report a missing one. Line. Of our team members. <laughs> Cheetah. This would be caring. Oh, they've got some waiting music. Let me hear that that jam. It's not great. It's not the best waiting no, music uh, I've heard it's on. No Kennedy. Mm. We can. Yes. Difficult though. It's a game. Yeah. We'll set it up. We don't have to play it. But let's let's get it set while I eat another Cheeto. By the way, that's woeful waiting music. That, that's annoying me. Yeah, 
Um, I'd like. Oh. Hello. Hello. Um, I was just wanting to get in touch, just to ask a couple of questions about some products that you have. Yes, of course. What's the product, please? Um, Cheetos Twisted. The flame, okay, the flaming yeah, hot ones. So, firstly, we were wondering. Uh, there's, there, I have two, two questions really. The first question is, are you aware that they get stuck in your teeth quite a lot, and that that can be a problem? <laughs> okay. And the second one is, why is Chester Cheetah not on the packet? Where, where is he? Where, Chester Cheetah, he's the he's the Cheeto guy, like the Cheeto oh, mascot, so, and he has like sunglasses, and he's a Cheetah, and I bought him for my son here, and he's <laughs> somewhat distressed that um, Chester Cheetah isn't on the bag because I think he's on the ones in America. He is on the American ones. Unfortunately, we just decided on the uh, the UK decided not to. Unfortunately, but with regards to it all in your teeth. It's a bit we joyless, isn't it? So. Um, is and there it, was there a reason why or? No, every every uh, region will change the packaging. Right. It will always be different. And then um, just on. Is American or Spanish right. And different to the UK. And then have you have you had them before? Yes. Did they get stuck in your teeth? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Is that is that part of the experience? Um, like that's to be expected. Um, yeah, it's totally great. Okay. Yeah. Well, but then that you I was just letting, I was just letting you know that that happens. So, but you already know. So, thanks a million for your help today. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank Have you. a good one. Bye, bye. bye. What a lovely lady. What a delightful lady. Yeah. I haven't hung up yet. There we go. There we go. <laughs> well, now she's gonna have a great day because she's because she's got two random dickheads going. What a lovely lady. Oh, the good thing is that they have my number. That's good. Ah, well, that's you blocked on another <laughs> crisp on, yeah. fucking on another crisp line. factory. Yeah, crisp hotline. <laughs> Big crisp. Gonna be coming after you. A flaming hotline, right? Oh, those are great. They are great. Mm. Um. By the way, gents, I'd like to just wish everybody a happy and child sex abuse day. Because that's what today is. It is. Happy, but no. What it is. Sex abuse day? It is April and 11th. It is child sex abuse day. Yeah. And I say this. What are you doing? Because the Dalai Lama. It's a family oh, show. Right. It's a family show. Sorry. I, I'm just saying happy. I'm not saying, co- I'm not saying bring more of it. You're saying end it? <clears throat> yeah. I'm saying end it. I, there, what, I didn't pick the day. Was there a start of this Google. festival? It's not a yeah, festival. Like, no, like, like, I'm, saying, like festival. I'm saying like... Is there, was there a... No, I can't even say the words. No, I know you can't. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I know what you mean, yeah, Was yeah. there a let's start this day? You know what I mean? Well, here's the thing. Now that they've started the day, it almost feels like they can't end it now. It should be a festival. It's sort of like... Yeah, it's sort of like... Because um, the day will go away if it does it's end. It's a wee bit of a pink elephant as well. Though, it's a it? catch-22, you know, <laughs> a pink if elephant. I, if I say to you, mm. don't think about a pink elephant, you think about a pink elephant, whereas, yeah. like, if you say end... This maybe you promulgate it anyway. That's let's it, that's uh, it. yeah, you're glorifying. We could have just got into FIFA straight away from the crisps, but thanks for that. We but diversion. it was April 11th, and that's what the day is. You're a wee dick. It's because of Dalai Lama. He he wanted me to do it. I know. He, he what fought. about the Dalai Lama asking a wee boy to suck his tongue? Can we talk about that? Yeah, well, see, I already did on the Patreon episode. That's why I'm sort of like, oh, you're you're past. I'm Dalai Lama out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm um, I've debooted. You know, <laughs> debooted from. What the would Buddha say? Like. I don't know. Suck my other tongue. Uh, I don't know. Suck, <laughs> suck one of my eight tongues. Does Buddha have the many arms? Not Ganesh. No, I'm but Buddha's the, the, the wee fucking fat ball guy. Looks like he would get a set here. Can I make a suggestion for the teams here? Yeah. May I be AFC Richmond as I'm wearing their kit today? Right. But in exchange, you want me to be? In, in exchange for that, would you be a team that is four stars or less so that we can match? <coughs> I, so do you know any, what? Any I'll, team, I'll randomize mine. Well, any okay. team that's four stars or less. I'll just randomize okay, mine. Okay, you randomize one, it. One, two, three. Okay. We're going into Sorry, Saudi you're in Saudi, maybe get Al Nazar. I was going to say one, two. That's not a random. Three. Eddie Fuck. Eddie Fuck FC. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Fuck. Did you ever hear that song? No. Eminem. Fuck. No. I didn't even know that was the thing. Um, Anybody in here heard that? Nope. Fuck. 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 
<laughs> I'm gonna fucking no. come. Is it no. from the B side of the album? Uh, no, it's on one of his albums. Um, I'm youthful. I I, I always oh. think I'm old, and then I know things that you just don't even know. About. Yeah, you're hip with it. I mean, I'm so. I'm Can you so... do the gritty? Don't know what that is. See, you're not youthful then. You're you've what's unyouthful the, now. What's yourself? the gritty? It's a dance that all the kids are doing these days. What does it look like? I can actually do. Now, if I do it standing up, can I do that? No, but you have to do the steps skills. too. You can. You have to do. There's feet footwork involved too. No, so there is. What did you call them? The gritty. The gritty. Yeah, yeah, I did say the gritty. I think first. I thought you said. Gritty. Oh, sorry. What am I hitting here? A. Eh? Yeah. Iron I gets very swept up on the podcast, don't they? Oh, po- <laughs> uh, um, look yeah. at your kids. I know, Why do you got playing cards on your kids? I know, I like it though. It is pretty Must sweet. Must be a casino. Um, Ian, would you like to play the... F- are we doing half each? Yeah, if you just want to. Uh, would yeah. you like to play first half or second half? I'll go for second half if you're happy. I sort of just want to eat all these crisps. That's what's happened here. Yeah. Okay, so Ian, I have to put us in good standing. That there's my main guy. I'm gonna just Danny play. Do you want to just play? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, there's gonna oh, be yeah. nobody on this team that I know. Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Doesn't uh, sound like fucking warm and soft. No. no, that's a good wee song. That it's filthy. Look. Have you seen any of uh, Chuck D's "Fight the Power" documentary? On? No. It's very good. What's that about? Uh, it's more well. It's it's meant to be about like the rise of hip hop and um, sort of people using their voice to help further African Americans or poor white Americans or whatever. Right. But the uh, Eminem actually comes across very well in it. No, I haven't seen it. What was the one that I have seen that had every cunt their mind on it about the rise of hip hop and stuff? Yeah, see, there's loads of them. Yeah, what oh, was that what one is called? That one one on called Netflix. Again? It's called like. The, it's not called this, but it's called like, wor- it's called like world beaters or something. Uh, mm, close, something like that. It had like, it had like all stuff about NWA in it, but then also like, they had like a, a Fleetwood Mac bit, and they had like a, they had like a what do you call it bit? I think it was just about music generally. They had a bit about no doubt. Oh yeah. Oh. It could be. It's on Netflix and it was a big series and Dr. Dre was involved in the production of it. Was it Top of the Pops? It's called <laughs> The Something. Top of the Pops. Uh, it was huge. Oh. oh. Are you going for it? Oh, he went for the stink. I'm walking this Look in. Look at the mess you made of that pitch. I know. I fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> you dickhead. Hide. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I need to take a minute Let's to just enjoy that. this <laughs> <laughs> What? Oh, Kier That'll come back to haunt you, wee man That's what I was thinking It won't even It Most. won't even Is this being played in Saudi Arabia? Uh, I think yeah, so, it yeah is. Stonings I, 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 I was going to say A guy's going to get his fucking there's, feet It's off. not because there's one women lines, man So no are we allowed? Are we allowed to talk about our abysmal human rights abuses? Or well, we may, if you like. Uh, yeah, I mean, BBC didn't really yeah. talk about it far much. Sure, what do they talk about? Uh, Shit. Do you know what to talk about? Uh, of course, there are still Lions. problems in Northern Ireland because Catholics and Protestants don't get along. I was sad on BBC News yesterday. Oh, I was literally sad. I'm like, reduce it, sure. On the national news, reduce show? it. Yeah, reduce it. Oh yeah, they wouldn't get away with that on fucking local news. Um, I'm like, okay. Sleep, is, sleepy Joe's rocking in tonight. Uh, My is, dad's uh, doing security for him. <laughs> is he, that right? He mm. is, I. Joe from the Rock Bar has been drafted in. <laughs> I swear to God, he has. Speaking of drafted in, oh. Um, he's been dra- There's no better man I thought for you were say, speaking of Joe from the Rock Bar, and <laughs> he's also playing for Richmond. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's, uh, he's protecting President Biden. Over the Wednesday there. That sound, it sounds like he's going to a casino, he's... Aaron, just so you know. It sounds what? Like he's going to the casino for the weekend. <laughs> yeah. You know I mean? yeah I'm protecting Biden. I'm away to get milk. He never comes home. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> I can't believe that I'm not winning. I know, I'm, having, that, I'm having a stinker here. After that fucking shit that I did. I'm too busy thinking about my dad protecting oh, the president. Your keeper's dice. My, there's no way my dad is taking a bullet for him, like... There's my dad. I wouldn't take a ball frack hunt. Yeah. I wouldn't even take a dig frack. Go on, Danny Rojas. Go on, Danny. Ah, oh, no. Nah, Danny. Ah, oh, gee. I spoke too soon. Oh, oh you near. Oh. Got it in the fucking tent there, you <laughs> <laughs> Got oh. it. 
Go on. Who is that? <clears throat> I don't even know. Oh. oh, look at Danny Rojas. All right. We're Fire and calm. <laughs> Why is, is my caper three feet tall, by the way? He is quite small isn't for he? a caper, isn't he? We loompa. Um, <laughs> we loompa. <laughs> Maybe he is, isn't he? I love that show. No, uh, Willy, Willy Wonka. Wonka. Uh, the old one. Charlie, or Willy Wonka and the Charlie Factory. I never watched the reboot. Not like, reboot, so the, the remake. The, the Johnny oh, Depp one. Johnny Depp. Really. I, I, don't, I don't like Tim Burton particularly, so. No. No, well, it's like, it's Marmite though, isn't it? Because he's a very particular flavour, and if you don't like it, you're not going to like it. You know that what I mean? That is true. And you can I just smell beefy show, yeast every time you're watching one of his films. Um, can you? No. <laughs> well, he, well he, he leaves enough of it on the fucking screen every time Depp or Hell in the Bottom Carter's on it. Just fucking leaves his jizz on it. He anyway. loves her, doesn't he? I think he, well, not anymore. I think he was actually married to her. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Yes, yes, Loompa. That's what we do in this squad. We make saves. Look oh, at you. Loompa is having the game of his life. Paulo here. Victor. Oh, I love it. I can't love football. <laughs> um, any questions, Dan? Fuck. 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 Somebody should definitely listen to that. Do you reckon they're going to have a stoning at halftime or fire um, <laughs> snacks out of a can? In this game? <laughs> yeah. They'll, they'll just fire the hands of children out <laughs> into the crowd. Oh, um, Jesus. Children, poverty-stricken street rats who stole. Um, street rat. Riff rat. Street, street rat. rat. I, I don't buy that. that. If only they'd look closer. Would they see a poor boy? <laughs> no, siree. Oh. I don't know any of Catholic songs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know these fucking hymns. Yeah. That was the original Black and Tans. <laughs> the, the, the pile of drag. Oh, come on. Come on, son. No one can run on this team. Uh, oh, my, he can't shoot either, whoever just that was. getting upset about the mess. Your keeper's making all that grass. He's he fucking, he's cutting it up, isn't he? He ain't knows, like. Yep. And I really have all those well gardens that you time. sort out up in Carrick. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> uh, Dean says Frank Lampard is better than Stephen Gerrard. At what? At football or at management? Repeat the question. Oh, sorry. Dean says is Stephen Gerrard better? Or sorry, he says Frank, he says Frank Lampard is better than Stephen Gerrard. Discuss as a footballer. I would rather have had Frank in my team. I think he was more. I think he'd score more goals. Half time. Half time. I think, would you rather have had Gerard Dan? You're doing a big face. In that United, he might take <sighs> What's the Frank though? Frank sitting behind fucking Rooney, Ronaldo, all that like in in the in the 2008 season. Lampard could have added that team. I don't think Gerard would. Lampard would play better with Skulls about you. Even game this. I bet he would. And I would always choose skulls out of those three players. Pele, always. Mate. It's not even a fucking... Paul Skulls controlled a game. Occasionally, Gerard fucking let, took a game basket off the neck and won it for them. Skulls controlled every fucking game he played in, pretty much. Love seeing this from you, Harry. Well, oh, I thought... I know, Ian, you're fucking... I thought I was Aaron there. Stop it. Better, stop me. Oh, stop us now. Immediately. me. Here's a wee chance for me now. Do you play FIFA much, Ian? Nope. Ah, okay. I don't think I've played since the last time I was here. Here's, so. a, wee, here's a wee chance for me now. Who's this? Fucking, you need to get away. Yeah. Select, select the player, Oh, Ian. should be L1 goal. selects your player. Tell you what. One of these, yeah. It's, there he is. There he is, fucking Jason Sudeikis himself. Looking good. That's a good moustache. Isn't it? He has fucking one of the best moustaches. Eat those salt in the It's a very... Uh, he looks like uh, Rob Delaney a bit. He, he looks loyalist with that moustache. He, he looks what? <laughs> he looks loyalist. He, he looks like he looks like somebody that's wait, waiting for a deal to be made in Newton Ards. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to get fucking targeted now. You uh, will. Yeah. There's the fucking threat level up again. Because yep. of you. It's fucking fat bastard. Oh, you ah, fucking Ian. get your finger out, ah, you Ian. lazy bastard. Walk it in now, sure. Oh, there you go. I was just distracted by the To be fair, I did, I did do the same thing to you, and I just fucked it up. I, know. I hit a wee L button because I thought he was good. Do you know what I wanted to happen? Thought your keeper was gonna slide in and foul him, and I thought that would have been funny. And I'm it sad. didn't happen. I was just annoyed. I'm sad I didn't score a goal because I had great goal celebrations lined up. Do you, if I score, do you want to quickly take a controller? Ah, look. 
No. Just put it, we're having good fun. We're having good fun. It's fine. Oh, I have a wee story. Yes. See the now we're getting the reason thing. Oh yeah. I've heard you say it a couple of times. Mm. And I thought that was something I, I didn't know that, that was from that video. Yeah. And I thought you were just saying that. You think I'm trying to do catchphrases? I th- and you said it a few times and I was going <laughs> Why, why does I, he say that? Because yeah. you said it on you said it on an episode of this ages ago. Oh you fucker. It's a chance for me. Oh Good lad um, in. Good lad in. Um, um yeah, you were thinking I'm trying to get a bit going. I, I was going, is this like a wee arm butlerism? And then <laughs> everybody started saying it more recently. I wish I, it was an arm butlerism. I can't claim <sighs> that. Yes. I deserve a goal. Um, What's your favourite arm butlerism? Yeah, is there one? Um, I thought that would have been it if I was yeah. guessing. Uh, I'm trying to think. An arm butlerism. Mine's probably chicken balls for Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> uh, classic. I've changed it to Dervlin. I knew bit. Uh, new bit. <laughs> Stop um, burning his material. He's going to use another name. And you're going to make me write. Oh my bed. God. What? Oh if my that God. went in, I would had, we would have had to end the game there. Yep. Again. Just a big fucking jazz mark where I used to be. Um, <laughs> on. Jazz mark where I used to be. Um, um, <laughs> that's enjoyable. That's your now there's just a jazz mark where I used to be. <laughs> a jazzy mark. Anyway. Um, I would love, do you know why they do football chants at stadiums? I would love it if they did it with musical songs. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Aaron, I think we've just written... A song that's gonna go into my next uh, jizz that I used to be. No, now there's just a jizz mark where I used to be. <laughs> where it's I gonna, used to spunk. It's gonna be about. It's gonna be about. Uh, Good save, keep. It's safe. gonna be about things that make me so excited that it disappear. <laughs> now there's just a jizz mark where I used to be. Every time a new Russell Crowe film comes out. Oh, yeah. Have you seen the new Russell Crowe? The the Devils, or the, the Pope's Exorcist. Uh, so I got the devil and the Pope mixed up there. Just oh, that's a scream. That Protestant habit. That's a wee screamy one there. Ian, do you want me to, to do the... If I can take this back and get us two each, I Finish think him. I can do it. Finish him. This is To make it interesting. Tato, I've, I've earned I've earned a handful of these tato. You have. Brilliant. Drink them up. Ian, I am going to get us back in this game. You, you, you watch and learn, boy. <laughs> I've hunched over. Your keeper's shout. He is actually pretty muck, isn't he? Yep. Can't remember the keeper's name in the show. There's a player called Roy Kent who's like 35 and he gets injured usually every game even though no one goes mm. near him. What, um... Oh, shit. <sighs> um, I'm turning up the heat now. I'm turning up the heat. What was that question we got asked there, man? I can't remember. Oh, Frank Lampard, Stephen oh, Gerrard. Yeah. No. I don't know enough about football. I, I, I agree. I, I agree that Lampard's but I, I prefer Frank Lampard. No, but I'm gonna start it because I saw it advertised last. It's on Disney. Oh Jesus! Oh, yes, what Luba. a save! Jesus Christ! Oh, I love it. You kicked. You kicked that out. You can't. I didn't. Have you seen any of them? Yeah, yeah there's one of them. It's like hits football, and he says it's absolutely brilliant. Is it good? Yeah, it's enjoyable. I I like I like. Next season will be better. I like these documentaries though. Have you seen the Bill Cosby documentary? No. Very, very good. Oh, is there as much football in it as? There's a lot more hoping. than you think. Mm. He's a massive Glen Torn fan. Glen mm. <laughs> 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 Snoren, that's great from Mike. <laughs> yeah, would be great to see Bill Cosby at the Oval doing a Glen Torn bit, the zipping and the zapping over at fucking. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know when to play the Cliftonville. <laughs> <laughs> I made myself the laugh there. The <laughs> That's fucking outrageous. Uh, I like that story about him being a cunt, Eddie Murphy. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, it's yeah. a classic. Mm. Um, yeah, but my like fucking dirty bastard, like. Oh, I absolutely loved it, like. Just one of those ones doing it in plain sight. There's actually, they show clips from like his stand-up on the Cosby show and all, mm. where he's basically... Just being a creep? No, just fucking saying, oh, but you, I've got this special barbecue sauce. Oh, jeez. Oh, my um, players are so slow. And then in his stand-up, he talks about <sighs> Spanish fly, which you can put into a That's girl's drink and she'll love you. How did the oh. keeper save that? My That's... keeper my keeper deserves man a match, I think. <sighs> That was some He's beautiful couple, passing. It was, it was lovely. God wasn't wasn't it, good enough though. Janet, I love you. 
Um, yeah. Football chants, musical football chants would be class. Do you know it was a weird football documentary? Because uh, it was so much just like the actual office. Uh, Sunderland Till I Die. Did anybody watch that? No. The guys that were running that... Pl- the guys that... That would have been so <laughs> sweet. The guys that were... Can I get a Saudi chip? The guys that were running that... <laughs> that sounds like something you would be able to order in Belfast. A Saudi oh, chip. so slow. It's just so much red sauce. It looks like someone's had their hand cut off. Um, <laughs> I very much regret picking this team. I'm loving the Saudis here. The fucking... Oh, look at this. This is delightful. This is delightful. If I... Suck my plums. Oh. Uh, I wouldn't fucking, even. I had that all day. All day. Come on, let's get a gold back for dignity. Nope. No dignity today. I'll look him passing it back to the keeper. Wasting time now. He knows he's afraid to take on a real player. He doesn't. Nope. Oh. I'm still not going to get it. I love that you didn't get it. I know. Like I'm, I'm erect. You're, oh, I didn't even get the corner. No corn for you. Mm. <laughs> yeah! I, I, I would have loved that oh, so we'll much. Celebra- oh, I didn't even get to do a celebration. I was too busy celebrating in real life. Well, look, it is what it is. A victory for the fat man. A victory. What, what were we answering? What was I talking about? There? We were talking about uh, Sunderland Till I Die. Sunderland Till I oh. Die. The guys running that club at the start of that documentary are absolute jokers, look. Like real jokers, and one of them isn't that guy, the guy who was like, he wasn't the owner, but he was like in a lot. He was like the, or maybe was he co-owner? He he wasn't the main owner. He was like he might have been like CEO or something. He was a root like uh, he was so like uh like uh, like literally out of the he was like a character out of the office, mm. like you know writing weird shit up on the boards and all trying to. You know, inspire, inspire people. You know, was mm-hmm. guys think ninety. Was he from that? There's ninety things we can be doing every day, and you're just going. You're an embarrassment. What? Was he from something? Like no, or? neither no. of them were. There the were. There were. He had a background. Oh, I can't remember. He had a background. It wasn't even football. Mm. He was just a business guy. Badminton. Like restaurants or something. <laughs> <a> ball, like. <laughs> <laughs> He's just managing a football team. <laughs> just um, shows um, up to train him with Your keeper had cuts. some. <laughs> He did. I want to see. Actually, had some game there. What was the ex- what was the expected goals from my team? Let's see here. We were expected to get three point four goals there. So was I though. But it, for some reason, it's give it to me because I had I don't know I had less shots, so my ratio yeah, was actually yeah, that better. Is, that is better. Um, what? Uh, let's find out. You're okay. a keeper. I know player. Let's go to player. I was doing some stuff there. Did he get man on match? He didn't. He didn't even get my match. He got a seven point eight. Your keeper got a seven point four, and that's on big, big Rojas was man of match. Apparently, he he had an eight point five. Yeah. My keeper did not deserve a seven point four. I that. thought your keeper was your keeper was okay. No, he was shit. Shit. Any Mar, Eden Mar for a big uh, loop ego. Ah, uh, the big loopy one got him. You're also forgetting that there was. I can't turn around for your goal, and I also didn't walk one in over the line. I know, I know. You know? But I mean, we did, get, uh, we did also have Ian play. Yeah. yeah he doesn't yeah. play favourite. Sure. He did all right. Nah, he's... Yeah. He did about the same as you. No. No. <laughs> no. I'm going to do a you here. No. Mate. Mate. No. <laughs> Somebody asked a really annoying question <laughs> on, that, on that list. What's an annoying question? Like a question that's designed to annoy fucking you? chip my teeth. <laughs> Yeah. What would that be? Give me an example. I'm going to rake through them here because there was one that Have fucking... Oasis ones? No. Reboot, remake ones? No. Oh, wow. It might have been that FIFA one, you know, that I've already answered, but I don't think it was. There was a, there was one that I looked at and went, you're a wee dick. Um, talk amongst yourselves there. Sorry, I didn't, I just wasn't sure what you no, were okay. trying to I'm do there. there. I'm getting there. Yeah. Um, um. But like, listen. I have a show. My my show. Yeah, maybe that's a question I would like to ask you. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, no. Go ahead. I was going to say from someone, and Ian as well, because you've done your solo as a, a two. For someone that's did a, an hour long show and longer, is there any advice you would give me in terms of doing it for the first time? What should I watch out for? Any tips, tricks, like? Just make, make it good. Normally, you're going, ah. <laughs> hey, there's no chance of that happening. I know, like, I mean, you know the material's good. Mm. So. Mm. Is there a big difference going from a half hour to an hour? 
I don't really feel it, but but that's I have a I have the opposite problem. You, yeah. you, for you, it's shrinking it down. Yeah. See, I think as well, like if if you plan to do like 40, 45 minutes, mm. it'll end up an hour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. You just see, I, I am kind of scared that I'll go under, but I don't. That's think... how I was the first yeah. time I did it, and then yeah. I did like seventy or something. Yeah, no. just too, too much I don't even mind that. I I don't mind. I mean, for me, actually, I think like between sixty five and probably seventy five. I think seventy is actually pretty sweet. I think that's like a sweet spot. I think if you can do 65, 68, mm. Mm. you're, you're 69. hitting real nice there. Yeah. But I think if you're... Uh, but I also think if you hit 50, people won't feel gypped. But I, think oh, if you go, I think if you go below that, people are starting to go... Mm. But I think as well, once you get to about the 45-minute mark, <coughs> Michael and I had this conversation recently, that you have to almost completely change tack to keep people mm. interested. Yeah, you, and you it also gotta, needs to be like... I think that's when you need to start getting into your closing. Oh yeah, yeah. Kinda, oh, kind of section like. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, yeah. but my closing section was on for twenty five minutes. So what do you want to do? Um, mm. I don't know. Are you doing? Did you do any WIPs? Did you do any wee whips? What's a wee whip? A wee work, work in progress. Work. Oh no, but like I've like three gigs this week that I'm sort of just using. It, those it might be as... sweet though to throw on one, like even if it's for free or mm. for fuck all, mm. uh, to do run it out once as a show. Yeah, you'll because you'll enjoy it more then. Yeah, I'll not get the time to do that. But yeah, if you've got three gigs lined up and you had one last night, do you, uh, you're you're still dirty in the cheese and onion, are you? They're dirty in me. Yeah, they are fuck dirty. Unbelievable. In you. Yeah, um, I, I'm I'm crisped out now. So the thing I don't like about cheese and onion is. There is a lingering odor. To be fair, I will be breathing that straight into people all day. Look, like, yeah, yeah, just like oh, mm-hmm. suck my tongue. <laughs> um, <it's> worse, <laughs> worse, you feel like you're sucking my tongue from me? yeah. <laughs> worse than vaping. You feel like I'm a vapist. You'll feel like you're you're fucking sucking my tongue from across the room. Um, Class. Um, but yeah, so my show, uh, the first one is this week, this Sunday, and uh, sure. I'm, look, I'm looking forward to it. It's mad how that has crapped up, isn't it? Scary, how mm-hmm. quickly it's it came about. Like, it mm-hmm. feels like only the other day it was announced. Speaking of this stuff, somebody has messaged this. This isn't the question that annoyed me, by the way. The question yeah. that annoyed me, and we'll deal with it very quickly. Okay. Why is, and this has been asked twice, why is guacamole the best takeaway in Belfast? All right. Falch. Hmm. Fal- Get Falcia. behind me, Satan. Yeah. That's, and someone has actually... I like that our Patreon self-polices. Another patron has commented on that going, this is criminal. It is. It uh, is criminal. Have you experienced guacamole? No, where's that? Guacamole is in the... Uh, not uh, what's the Dublin, street Dublin Road. on? Is it like Dublin Road? The street lavery is on? Or, or, or Shaftesbury Shaftesbury Robbery Square? Robbery Place. Sh- yes. Robbery Place. Yes. Yeah. So it used to be people. Pe- it got famous I for that. it got famous for having where people would go after a night out. Bishops. And just, well, is oh, it was, was, it, is it was? the old bishops? No, it's it's around there. Oh, it's uh, beside bishops. Yeah. Remember is that bishops? Woman, the the bishops mad was woman great. was attacking bishops the was staff yeah. and shattered the door. Uh, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. So Never recovered from that. So basically, people... I'm just would, these now. I, I know mean, you are. But you do that. It's your show. Yeah. Um, people would go dance on the table, stand on the tables while having a curry half and half spilt all over them. And it was it was a party, like... Have I told my bishop's story before? No, please do. I went in there with some Americans one day. My friend had his mates over from America. One of these guys was... Well, he was just being American. But he, here, he was a wee bit like, you know... Like, my mate asked me as like a sort of a guy who knows a wee bit about here. Mm-hmm. Can I come with him and take him around some places? So we've been up to like a jazz causeway, but we're also going off the beaten track a wee bit, and I give him wee bits. <laughs> this is where I used to go wagon, right? <laughs> this is a good spot to play home. Giant right? ring. So, so we took him around different places, and then, but this guy was the sort of guy that you know goes up to the jazz causeway and sits in the car and plays Sudoku. Mm. You know, he's a wee bit of a fucking... Introverted weirdo. A wee bit of a root, right? <laughs> yeah. Josh Cosby is pretty and shit. His name was Drew, so you could say he was a bit of a droot, right? Mm. Now, I am droot. And also a, dr- a droot of banter, right? Mm. A droot, right? So anyway, yeah. I probably didn't need to explain it. Anyway, so... No. They came to Bishops. We lost whipping out for a few pints and went to Bishops. Sort of in the middle of the day, I think rugby was on. Mm. And uh, the rugger. And um, and we went, um, we went to Bishops and... We'd all eaten, and then Drute asks for a toothpick, and the lady goes, "What is it?" And he goes, "Can I have a toothpick, please?" And she just goes, 
oh sorry love this isn't a posh place you'll just have to suck it out yourself <laughs> and did like a <laughs> great banter from her and he yeah. was just like horrified and the rest of us were like <laughs> I played a guitar solo <laughs> in the middle of bishops <laughs> You know, in the middle of yeah. bishops, Bill um, and Ted. It was unbelievable. Yeah. Um, he got roasted to death by her. I loved that. He wouldn't do well with a bag of flaming hot Cheetos. No, Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, God. She loved that, by the way. You're woman that we just, we made her day, didn't we? What, the, oh, the girl on the phone? Yeah. I thought you meant the woman from Bishops. Oh, no, she, you know. She's dead now. Yeah, she didn't love it. She, yeah. she only loved it whenever, uh, whenever the, I uh, good one talk, whenever. Um, <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. It's no. all right. You can finish it later. Do you remember yeah. Spuds? Yes. I, so I, never, I, I went to it frequently and never ordered anything out of it. Ever. Me neither. I, I would have stood in it with other people. I they, remember... With um, my subway or something, you know. <laughs> me and a couple of mates were on holiday in Ibiza in 2002. And when we were coming home in Ibiza airport, we're like, oh, fuck, there's your man from Spuds. And then we were in Spuds a couple of weeks later, steaming at like, you know, half one in the morning. We're like, hey, mate, we saw you in uh, Ibiza airport a couple of weeks ago. And he was like, shh. <laughs> Jesus, like, I love the new story. A spot run, like yeah, that's who. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. He I was just very keen that nobody else in the staff knew that he yeah. had been there. Do you know where was a big place in my in my day for a, a after drinking dinner, the Emerald, on the Dublin the Road. Emerald, that's right, the Chinese. Oh, when you went in through the alley. Oh, no, the, are you talking about the middle, the middle of the Dublin Road? No. Yeah, you could sit on it. There was, was you could go in like a four in the morning. Dragon Rendezvous is what oh, I'm thinking. Oh yeah, yeah. Because you could literally sit in. Oh no, this you could. I, I'm saying you could sit in uh, the Emerald, but you'd seats. be on the floor. Like, uh, uh, it was stinking. Do there remember was one I used chicken boss used to go to. Mm. It was sort of between the Dublin Road and Great Victoria Street, but you could rock up at any time of the night. Dublin um, Road. Go down the alley, knock the door, and they would bring you in through the kitchen. The good fellas, the Chinese. Yeah. No, this one. Good I powers. think I know. Was that was that in was that round? <laughs> was that round? <laughs> was that round at? Was that in Ventry Street? Like where 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 Filthy says? It might have been. I think, there, I think there used to be a Chinese there where that subway is. I can't. The Emerald though was sort of beside that subway, and it was. And it, they served booze, but the thing was, you had to buy something. So like to eat. Yeah, yeah. So you'd have like sixteen people sharing a bowl of chips. But uh, like you know, twenty beers. I remember there was, like, wasn't it? Wasn't it Emerald? There was something to do with the hygiene rating. There was oh, a big was scandal, mm. and it was like I, I don't want to talk out of turn in case it wasn't the case. But they, oh, they, it's closed now. So you can oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. It was like one hygiene rating yeah. or something like that, and everyone was like, "What the fuck?" Wasn't good. Like, it was, it was dirtier than the people you were trying to pick up on those nights out. Now. <laughs> I picked up people from the Emerald on those nights. Out. I bet you did. That's right. I would just, I wouldn't even go out on a bar. I just hang Chicken around the Emerald. Chicken balls, butler. Yeah. You love it. <laughs> just going over, dropping your bag in the middle of somebody's curry. Anyway, <laughs> on Drop, that bombshell. Just for a rib love. You want half and half of that. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. There, was just, there was just one more. There was a question somebody asked about, about burning material and how often mm. you burn stuff. Hmm. I'm I'm coming to the end of this running material now, so that's why I'm putting these videos out on the Patreon a bit. Yeah. You'll still see the occasional song or that stuff, but the, the big long bits are sort of dead. I mean, I try to, I end up probably changing it twice a year now. Once that's every a, sort of six lot. months, it's minging. Like. That's a lot. It's a lot. Like, I'm writing stuff at the minute. I still it's stuff from three shit. years ago. <laughs> I mean, do you know how shit it is? I'm sitting here saying I'm writing stuff. Mm. I'm definitely going to be doing Jismark where I used to be anyway. Oh. Thanks for coming on the pod. It's been a lot of crack. Pleasure as always. It was nice to destroy you on FIFA. Great, great Crisp Champions League group. Oh, yeah. Pleasure group group of destroyed. death. Yeah. Um, group of breath. Anyway, um, mm. thanks for joining us here uh, on No Blasters. We'll see you in the next one. Can I get a toothpick? <laughs> oh, no.